What up, what up, what up? Aloha, happy Sunday. Um, today is a beautiful day. I hope you guys had a great day. I just want to talk to you guys about something that came to me earlier today. I went to church. Church was good, but when I got out of church, it just reconfirmed that um, I probably should share with you guys what type of conversations lately I've been having with people concerning self. Like, that's one of the main topics that I've been um, saying to people, like, take the time to get you, get to know yourself. People that's going to heartbreak, even older people who seem to be somewhat lost, it's like, okay, get to know yourself. <clears throat> Meaning, build a relationship with God. Honestly, if you really want to know your true worth, your true self, your purpose, your destiny, you got the only person who can tell you is God. Like, you really got to get to know Him. <clears throat> And the way to do that is the way you get to know anybody. You start talking to them. Just like you're talking to your friends. Um, be you. Be you when you're raw. I'm me all day. Thank God he created me is all I can say. Because he understands me. I'm not for everybody. But I try to be good to a lot of people. You know what I mean? But at the same time... I am me, and he understands me. So what people don't like, people don't approve of, he still talks to me and tells me things that I need to know to better myself. <clears throat> but even greater, the more I get closer to him, the more he shows me and reveals myself and my past. And it's just like the most gracious thing ever. Like It's really honestly like him being your father and your best friend and your husband. All at the same time. That's how great he is. When you start talking to him and he starts to reveal himself to you, you will feel this calming, like a peace. It's like nothing really can bother you because at that moment, everything that you could possibly love, you feel that same kind of love back. However you love is the way he'll love you back because he understands your love. So... You automatically just feel that peace with him. <laughs> um, man, it's amazing. Um, when you in your time of aloneness, that's when you should pray. When you hurt, pray. Pray. Don't find distractions. Um, I took a couple notes, you know, because sometimes... <clears throat> We had conversations with God, and I'd be like, you know what, let me write that down. So, I did write a couple notes, though. Let me share it with y'all. Um, okay. When you read distractions and you start to direct your thoughts and your focus on Him and His plans for your life, you become fully at peace even when things get rough. Because now, your faith is stronger knowing that your steps are ordered. People who don't understand me when I say get to know themselves have not yet learned themselves, their worth, their value, their purpose, their destiny. If you know what it means to know yourself, then you understand that it is what takes place during the time of getting to know oneself, that you learn your true worth. Once a person recognizes that they have a purpose, they go on a drive. But the ones who focus on the mission for their purpose understand what they fully have to fully develop and discipline themselves. <clears throat> That being said, if a person can understand what it means to get to know their self, they would know that they have to build a relationship with God. And doing so, when God reveals himself to you, he then shows you what you're capable of. He will show you what mistakes that you kept making and why. And then that's the part that's gracious because when, when he start going back over your life and you start realizing the lessons and the heartache, how them heartaches made you stronger for the next lesson after or the next person after, or the next job after whatever the situation if you honestly <clears throat> go back and look at it it was preparations for the next thing so that part makes it say oh man thank you lord i see where you was going with this like you're not so upset you're not so bitter and then half the time when you probably ended up them relationships or workplaces you was probably mad or bitter at the same time now you're not even mad because you're just like you know what it was for better purpose um um, so yeah, that's when you start to feel feel the peace. Uh, you no longer blame others because 
you can see yourself. So now things you don't hold on to, you start to let them go because you learn every test and mistake was preparation for what was next to come. So you guys, if that helps any, um, honestly, whatever it is you go through, just know you can't hide nothing from him. It's like your your best friend or your mom. They know if they know you, they know what you're doing. They know pretty much what you might be hiding from them because they know you, and it's something you don't even have to tell them because they already know. It's like the term game recognized game. Like you understand. So it's the same thing. God knows us. He knows where we've been. He knows if you was at the club Friday. He knows if you smoke. He knows if you drink. Like it is what it is. He he just wants you to come to him. So. Stop being so afraid. Like, I, sometimes when I talk to people about God, they be like, oh, she trying to be holier than thou. Like, and I'm like, I'm honestly not. Just as you start to grow and develop with him and he starts to teach you and raises you, you maturely mentally. Like, mentally, he matures you. So you don't think about the same things the way you used to think about them. Now things hold weight because you know you have a purpose for your life with what he's probably shown you. And you be like... You know, I can't think how you used to think. You can't keep doing the same thing. Like, you can't stay stagnant. At some point, you got to grow up. I say it all the time. People get big, but they don't grow up. When you honestly grow up, you let go of childish things. And in doing so, God does it for us. Like, if you've been in a relationship with him, you will slow, slowly see yourself stop to do certain things that you used to do or desire. Like, you know, no, you no longer desire to do them no more. It just be like, like, sometimes I ain't gonna lie. I don't mind going out. But then, now it becomes boring. Because I be like, this is whack. Like, what are we doing this for? Like, what's the purpose behind this? Okay, we having fun, but at the end of the day, most of the time, somebody in there looking to go home with somebody. Or you drunk, and the next morning you gotta go to work with a hangover kind of got old like it gets old eventually and at some point you want something stable you know you want to just whatever you're going through <clears throat> that they might that you might be in the club trying to get away from when you actually get through it and you attack it with God and he shows you what it is that he can use it for because we all get a testimony and most of the time the stuff that we have from him and that we go through it's the stuff that he needs from us. So, <laughs> if he was a prostitute, a pimp, a trick, a thought, whatever the case may be, you a testimony for somebody else to help them through. And he wants to be able to use you, you know what I'm saying, to get that delivery out. So, don't be afraid to talk to him. Like, you might not hear him right away, but don't stop. Keep talking to him because he will talk back to you. And if you're a person that likes to talk a lot, you should also know. Or a person who like gossip. You should know God get the best gossip. <laughs> no lie. He get the best gossip. Sometimes I be on my heights and me. I'm just be having conversations, you know. I'm listening to my music in my own zone. And something will come to me and I just start laughing. Because it be something he be saying like he need for peep. And I'm like, I didn't even think about it like that. So, honestly, like, y'all, it's amazing. Develop a relationship with God. That's the message of the day. To get to know self, build a relationship with God so that he can show you who you are, whose you are, and what you are. Everybody got a purpose, you know. Some of, once you find your purpose, honestly, you start to choose the people who you are around and the people you bring into your life more wisely because now you are stable and you start to build a foundation and everybody know when you're building a foundation it takes steps you ain't gonna just add any block to your foundation it's got to be the right one it's got to be fit for your life it's got to be stern so when knowing what your purpose is <clears throat> you also pick the people that will help you along your purpose you no longer pick distractions if like you're not if they're not consuming your life or something greater or not adding to it then honestly like they're a distraction in your life because if you're not getting further and you're still here you're wasting time surround yourself around people that are going where you're trying to go unfortunately sometimes people circles even small circles is still on the same level you here i'm here somebody trying to get here so somebody eventually gonna have to take off you know so Get to know yourself, bird of the day.
So comment, like, if you want to add to it, go right ahead. I'm trying to make it quick. I know I probably missed some things, but comment. We can talk about it in the uh, comments and whatnot. I'm going to start posting YouTube videos, you know, doing messages of the day. Because we talk a lot. And I'd be like, you know, bro, Lord, that was a good message. I should probably just post it, you know. So you'll hear more from me. I hope you guys enjoyed. Enjoy the rest of your day. Mahalo.